going on? Uh, today I'm going to be going over a bench technique that I do. It's like an alternative way of benching. Uh, this is more specifically toward powerlifting and stuff. So uh, it's like a sinking bench press, right? So this is how I bench for powerlifting. And it might not be optimal for muscle building or muscle growth, but it is the best way for me to generate as much strength as I can and push as much weight as I can from the bar. So I'll just go ahead and get on the bench and show you guys how I do it. So. Pretty much guys, the way I bench is when I bring the bar down, I have a really big arch or I try to make my thoracic arch as big as I can. And when I bring the bar down, I allow it to sink. And I allow it to sink into my chest as well as into my legs, okay? So you'll notice that when the bar comes down, it sinks into me and I shift forward. And this allows me to sink into my chest and my legs. And when I'm pausing here, I can drive back up. So the sink gives me some room to drive back up. And this is how I generate force right off the chest. So from the bottom of the lift, okay? So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So I allow the bar to sink into my chest and my legs, and then drive back up. So when I do this, guys, I can sink, and notice how my knees come forward as well. So I relax at the bottom a little bit, lose a little bit of tightness, drive back up. So the cue that I use for this guys is to turn on and off your legs. So when I'm unracking and when I'm at the start of the bench press, my legs are on. And my legs are turned on, I'm driving through them, applying force, I'm pushing through my legs on the way down. And then once it touches my chest, I, let, I relax my legs, I let them turn off, let myself get a little bit of a sink so that I can drive back up. Okay, so then this gives me the momentum to put, really push the bar up, right? So. Uh, yeah, so that's the cue I use, to turn your legs on and off, right? Also, I kind of let it stick into my chest as well. But I don't let my elbows, I don't let my elbows travel back. I don't let my forearms roll forward like this. The sink is just in my chest, right? And then I also maintain my scapular positioning. I never let go of the retraction and depression of my scapula. I'm always squeezing these back and down as tight as I can. I'm maintaining this here. I sink a little into my chest and into my legs. But I maintain this, right? So I'm just going to show you guys one last time. Alright guys, so... Legs are on, legs are on, legs are on, 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 turn them off. Let it sink in the chest, drive them back on. So when I turn them back on, when, I, when I'm pushing up, I turn them back on before I push up. So, legs are on, 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 turn the legs off, drive, up. Alright guys, so this really allows me to get a lot of force through the bar at the bottom. Really, that leg drive is really what gets my bench up. I think. I think my best bench press was like 275, but then without my legs on the bench, if I did it without my legs, I think I can barely do like 185. So my leg drive really gives me like a fucking gang of weight on my bench press, and this is how I apply that much leg drive to it. I always tell people I bench with my legs, and this is how I do it. So uh, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys can apply it. Uh, give it a try. Let me know how you guys like it. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one.